Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm getting ready to get rid of this 27 inch JVC tube television uh, which weighs 94, over 94 pounds and I'm going to be replacing it with this uh, Vizio 32 inch LED flat panel TV a smart TV with built-in wireless and I'm all set here. I've got a two-wheel hand cart and I've got this weight belt, which I don't know uh, if it's uh, going to keep my guts in as I try to pick up this TV. Uh, I'm saving a little money if I bring this down to the dump myself. Otherwise, curbside pickup is requ required a uh, $20 sticker that you have to put on it. But uh, you can't give this away. I tried to give it away to a relative and they didn't want it. They just got rid of a larger one themselves. And like I said, this weighs uh, 94.6 pounds. The only good thing about that is it's uh, a lot more difficult to steal a television, huh? I mean, if you break into a house and can't just quickly grab this and, and get out, where this new TV here weighs 12 pounds, I think. And where are you going to put all the knickknacks? And got this huge space here to collect dust. I remember having a Dell 19 inch that I had a keep my desk away from the wall like a couple of feet because of uh, all the tube overhanging the desk and it to the very back edge so yeah the days of these old tubes are disappearing this is a 2003 so let me take all these knickknacks off and uh, carefully pick this up and, and get it out of the way and then we can open up unbox this Vizio Oh, oh my god, I got it down. You know, I was feeling bad that I had to get rid of it. Oh my god, I got it down. You know, I was feeling bad I'm getting rid of a perfectly good TV, but you know what? The time has passed for tube televisions. This thing is huge. You know, when you look at it now on the floor, my brother got rid of a 32 inch. That must have, you know, that was easily over a hundred must have been over a hundred pounds the these the time has passed for these things so now that I have it down I can get it down on the hand cart yeah once I picked this up uh, I didn't feel bad anymore so the last of the tube TVs in this household actually no I have a I have a Heath kit that I built a long time ago I uh, need to get rid of that. Well, I quickly found out it doesn't fit through the doorway, so I had to put it on in. This doesn't want to go. Okay, let's open this up. So this is a Vizio E-Series 32 inch. I was almost having buyer's remorse uh, last night. I was online and reading some comments that I didn't think sunk in at the time. There's a lot of negatives, but geez, there's a lot of negatives on other brands too. You know, it might be just hit or miss. Uh, some of them were damaged uh, during shipping, but this, this had the most uh, purchases also, so it's going to have a lot of negatives also because there were more people that bought it but like I said uh, other brands had a lot of negatives too so we'll see so a lot different than that tube TV I just wheeled out of here there it is So it looks good so far. It's the easy to use smart TV, built in Wi Fi, full array LED backlight. Uh, I was reading that gives you some better contrast. They have a backlight uh, behind the LEDs. And it's a clear action 240W effective refresh rate, 120 hertz, um, 1020p full HD award-winning technical support.
So here are the feet. There's the remote. Take the styrofoam off. Important. Avoid damaging the TV with the help of another person. Remove the TV from the box. Do not touch the screen. Okay. So, let's see. I can maybe slide it out. I'm just sliding it out. Not touching the screen. There's the batteries, the screws for the feet, quick start guide, and the power cable. So I'll pull this plastic off. Unless it was taped on. On the side. Shiny. So that's what it looks like in the back. Take a look at that. The front here looks like it has a film on it. I'll put it down on this plastic to take a look at the back. So that's what the back looks like. Take a closer look. So it has, I don't think they have this anymore. They still have component inputs. And here's the cable antenna input. I can get a splitter. And I can hook this up to the antenna I have on the rotor. HDMI, Ethernet. On the side here, two audio outs. It's an optical and HDMI's. There's one here and here's a USB. Did I already say that? There's a HDMI number one right here. And on the other side here is where the power cord plugs in. Right here looks like there's a power button. Manual power button. So here's the quick start guide. Accessories you find in the box. How to connect the feet. They're recommending having it on a table. You can see here the feet fit in here flaring outward and to the outside until these holes line up and that's where the screws go through. I don't know why there's two here. So all the way in. 
So you need a Phillips screwdriver. Two screws per foot. Remember this is plastic, so not too tight. That was easy enough. Do the other side. So plug in the power cord. Only goes in one way. It's all set to put on the stand. There it is. I could put this uh, with a mount assembly on the wall here somewhere. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> Big difference from this profile and the profile of the JVC TV. Look at all this space here. Although it has wireless, it's recommended to use the Ethernet to initially set this up or uh, the internet. So I've got my Ethernet cable here. That snapped in easy. Hook up the coax. Okay, that's all set. I can turn it around now, which is easy because it's only 12 pounds. It's an arrow indicating how to slide the cover off. Takes two AAA batteries included. Install them in the right Direction, correct polarity. Slide the cover back on. Snaps in place. All set to go. So it's plugged in. Turn it on. See a light go on in the corner there. Store demo, home use. So home use. Okay, English. Okay, USA. Eastern. Ethernet connected. I accept terms of service without reading them. Register your TV, enter email, first name, last name, zip code. Okay, this is going to take a while. I'll come back to you. So now I'm scanning for a TV signal. So that's set up, and there's the picture. So I was looking for the mute button on this. I was looking for the word mute. There isn't, uh, there's actually this little tiny speaker with an arrow through it with the mute. And it's not like, you know, some of them you hit the mute and it halves it and then turns it off. This is a complete, just one click and it's off. So there are some dedicated buttons on here for Amazon, Netflix, and Heart Radio. There's also an on-screen user manual. So if you hit menu, hit menu, and you can see there, there is all the way on the bottom is a user manual. So this is a on-screen user manual. Pretty interesting.
so you don't have to worry about losing the user manual. It's right there. And we have exit to exit the user manual. Okay, at this point, this is a redo. I uploaded the edited video and I got some copyright uh, infringement um, notification. So uh, I, th I don't know how that works. I thought if you talk over uh, existing content that somehow, uh, and I try to limit. So uh, I'm re-editing and I'm gonna try to limit uh, as much uh, audio and video um, that's probably copyright protected and see how that goes so uh, I was showing right here there's a button they call it it's a V it so it looks like a down arrow um, and if you if you click that on the remote you get all the uh, options at the bottom of the screen there and here's a summary um, and looks like they have at the top there my featured let's see latest all apps uh, categories I figured if I show my YouTube content I'm not going to open up a copyright infringement to get against myself right so it's the same you have to I haven't signed in you know once you do it it's it's stored so you don't know have to keep on doing it so if I go up at the top here and sign in uh, to sign in go to and it's the same thing you have to enter a code now just like uh, on the other TVs so I have to enter in that code let me follow through this process here so I've done this in the past. You can see here, this is, um, you go to youtube.com slash activate and you get this and you have to enter the code here and they associate that TV. You know, you have an option of whatever uh, you have registered with YouTube as far as accounts go. You know, sometimes you have um, duplicates. You have one under your name. Uh, they seem like they want you to use your particular, uh, your name. Um, and then you, you can have a YouTube account with a YouTube channel name, you know, something different like eTechTom. And then you have uh, a, an email address that's associated with that too. So you choose what, whatever you want to, um, you know, associate with this particular TV. So I just need to enter that code now. So I've entered the code in. And I'll show this if uh, I believe it's a one-time deal and you won't I'm gonna try to activate once I've activated with the same code and see what it tells me so there's next and you can see there's an association because there's the sim there's a picture that I have on my uh, eTech Tom channel so view and manage your rental and purchase history manage your YouTube account so I'm all set to go. Let me just go to YouTube activate again and see if, uh, what happens when I enter in that code. Oh, and I have to click allow, so not finished. So allow, return to your device to continue. So then that's where I have to then sign in with my YouTube account on the TV. So now I'm going to enter that code in again and see if it says it's already been used. If not, I'm not going to show this. Incorrect code, try again. So it's you can't use that code again. Good to know. So then I guess I can show that in the video. So you can see here, uh, I'm on YouTube through Ethernet, and if we go here to uploads. This is uh, the latest videos I have on my channel. So I click on one of these. You can see the quality of the picture there. Now, when I was streaming from Amazon, it's kind of 
blocky, but then it started correcting itself. So I think it's, you know, it just makes sense. It's going to be highly dependent on the, uh, the bandwidth you have for your, for your uh, in internet, uh, the router. Um, I'm thinking also that for particular, uh, in particular, the content that I get from Amazon, I wonder if I have the Amazon, one of the Amazon uh, streaming uh, Fire TV boxes that that will buffer uh, the content and I get a better picture that way. Otherwise, uh, right now I've got this long Ethernet cable from the router and I don't know if this is a uh, high speed e Ethernet, whether that matters too, there's more, maybe a better quality Ethernet cable. Uh, wireless was just the same, but it was kind of blocky, but then it, it like I said, it uh, improved and um, I, I think it depends on the quality of your bandwidth um, uh, and the load. If a lot of people are watching content, uh, I know sometimes when I check the speed uh, up, uploads and downloads, um, I get an explanation that a town next to me uh, is using a lot of bandwidth. There's a lot of people on the internet at that particular time. So go back here and go back to menu. And this is the menu for network, timers, audio, picture, user guide. Uh, again, this V button gives you all the apps at the bottom here. YouTube, Hulu, multimedia, must be for anything you can plug into the USB. Um, Facebook, Yahoo Weather, HDTV settings, Netflix. Yahoo Sports, Yahoo Finance, Yahoo Profile, Yahoo News, Twitter, Voodoo, Amazon. And if I go to Amazon, uh, I already signed in uh, through the TV. And you can see here, Amazon will come up. And just like uh, before, it's all the content the free content through Amazon Prime some things that I've been looking at and I've got recommendations here uh, so I won't show any of the content um, I don't know how that works uh, maybe maybe because I was showing some football that's why I got um, flagged but um, I deleted it and it looks like I didn't get any negatives uh, looking in my account I didn't get any strikes against me uh, yet. Uh, and the explanation did say even if you delete this, you still could uh, get a strike against you. So we'll see what happens. So that's the, the Vizio that's replacing the uh, JVC TV. Big improvement. Looks good. Just a side note here, um, I had this TV on longer, but if we look at the time here, let's see, uh, 17 hours and 50 minutes have lapsed. So uh, I think I was comparing it to the JVC was um, like, like 20 hours or something. So, it, you know, it's definitely, it just goes without saying that this uh, LED TV is going to draw a lot less um, than you know the uh, the JVC the tube, so there is a savings there. But right now, it's uh, telling me that it's costing fifty cents a week, two dollars and eighteen cents a month, and twenty six dollars a year. I think the other one was about uh, the JVC was like at thirty six dollars a year, but this this will go down when I get to the twenty four hours. So this is the Vizio thirty two inch E thirty two dash C one has built in wireless, and it's a smart TV. 
Definitely a step up from the, t the tube TV, only weighs 12 pounds. I think that's what it was, 11 point something pounds, as opposed to 94.6 pounds. So sorry for the disjointed content here, but uh, just trying to see if I can get something through without any copyright infringement. I'll try it again. If you found this video interesting, please feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment, and thanks for watching.